Did I make a huge mistake buying a gold bar, even if I got it at spot? Let's find out and explore. Yep, I took advantage of the JM Bullion Gold Bar Spot deal. Of course, as I unbox this video, I'm paying about 14 bucks above spot uh, because the price of gold went down since then. Oh well, that's known as Salivate's Law. Some people call it Murphy's Law, but I call it Salivate's Law. Most every time that I make a purchase of a product, uh, typically the price goes down. Of precious metals. In this case, I bought a gold bar. And uh, some people find these a bit risky. And I can understand that. There is a risk in buying anything uh, to make sure it's genuine, the genuine article. And it's not just precious metals, but precious metals are can be a very expensive mistake. I know of a person who bought from an individual a fake gold bar. And uh, I've done videos on buying fake gold bars. One of my most popular video is how to avoid buying fake gold bars. And this, in a sense, could be an updated continuation of that. But uh, most people that bought, that took advantage of this uh, price and bought uh, of this really special deal from J.M. Bullion, which was not a Black Friday deal, by the way. It's happened before Black Friday. Uh, they... Uh, I've usually got perth mint bars. I got this Rand Refinery. I'm kind of glad because I wanted something different uh, than what I already have. And so this is a beautiful bar. Very nice. Um, but is it the real deal? Well, let's find out. I'm going to actually whip out the old precious metals verifier just to make sure. And I'm going to tell you how to, uh, to mitigate that risk. Mitigate the risk of buying fake gold bars. And uh, one way to do that is to have a precious metals verifier. Um, and uh, let's just check this out and make sure it's the real deal first before, we, uh, before I get any further into that because that seems like an oversimplified solution here. So we can see this bar test out just fine. It is indeed a, a 0.999 plus. In fact, it's four nines fine gold bar. It's within the brackets for the Precious Metals Verifier by Sigma Metalytics. Which, by the way, these things are pricey. And that is what I want to talk about here. Because most people can't afford to spend, you know, uh, almost a full ounce of gold for one of these machines. And the newer ones cost, uh, the newer updated versions cost well over uh, $2,000. And so it's quite understandable uh, why one may avoid putting out the money, shelling out the money to, to get that. But I tell you what, it has saved me time and time again having one of these precious metals verifiers. And uh, it's, in fact, it's really good to take with you to a coin show and the like. Uh, I'm going to probably be going to a coin show soon. And I'm going to have that with me so that I can test, uh, you know, things that I buy there. It's invaluable. It's worth the money, especially if you are concentrating on buying gold and, and even small gold. But any appreciable amount of gold, I encourage people to get a precious metals verifier. But you really don't need a precious metals verifier in order to really uh, to tell if a product is genuine or not. And why is that? Well, because of the size. You can just look at most gold bars and tell whether they are genuine or not. And there's your answer right there. You can see how thin this bar is uh, in, 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 the, uh, in, the, uh, in the assay card here. Now that's one drawback to buying gold bars is you really don't get a full sense of the weight and look and feel of these bars um, when they're in an assay like this. Uh, because you just don't really get that it's the tactile nature of the gold is lost on this packaging, but you understand why they have it because it's tamper proof. It's it's evident. It is a security feature in and of itself. Yay, though, um, a lot of these uh, assay cards are faked, and they're very good fakes of them. In fact, the Perth Mint uh, does has 
has is the most faked of the gold bars that are out there that I know of, that I've seen. In fact, a friend of mine had a fake Perth Mint gold bar. But as soon as he showed it to me, before he even said anything, I pointed to it and said, that's fake. And there's another um, situation that I'm not going to share the details on, uh, but essentially it was a situation where I saved a certain establishment thousands of dollars by just me glancing over at it. Didn't even get a close look at it, and I knew right away it was a fake bar. And the way to tell is how thin it is. See, these bars have certain sizes. In fact, this is a fairly common size. In other words, the, the width and the height of the bar. And uh, that's fairly common. Now, there are other products, like from the Royal Mint and Royal Canadian Mint, that have larger bars. In other words, the diameter or the, the length and the height of the bars are wider. And, uh, and so that means the bar is extra thin. And uh, the reason why they do that is to deter counterfeiters. And why is that? Because the only metal that you can get this same weight that would fit in there is going to be tungsten. And it's very difficult to find a tungsten sheet that thin in order to plate the bars. And, uh, and so therefore, it's going to make it much harder to counterfeit the gold. Now, the drawback to buying gold bars is that the counterfeiting can be done with less penalties than counterfeiting coins. Coins are more tactical, tactile and they're easier to detect with the naked eye. But even these are easy to detect if they're fake by just merely looking at the edge for the most part because they want to provide bars that are that are going to weigh out at one ounce. And that is really the key. In fact, I'm going to weigh this bar. Um, and we're gonna weigh it in troy ounces here. Tear this out. There we can see. Let's put the bar on there. And you can see that it weighs, well, 1.27 ounces. Now that's including the packaging. So, um, it's gonna be about that. You can account without taking out the packaging, that's gonna be about 1.3 ounces or so. And so therefore, what these fake gold bars do is they, they, re they rely on the ignorance of the buyer about the thickness. You know, assuming that, hey, this thing is gonna be, um, it's going to be um, thick and people think, okay, well, it weighs an ounce. But the density of gold is as such that it does not need to be that thick and it should not be that thick in order to be genuine. So you don't need a precious metals verifier in most cases to, to tell whether or not uh, a bar is thick or not. In fact, you don't need anything. If most people are gonna buy bars, they're gonna be in these assay cards. And gold is gold, folks. It's got a, the manufacturer on there, Rand Refinery, my first Rand Refinery bar, so I'm kind of pleased to add this to the stack as a collector, but also it's going to be from a known legitimate bullion dealer. Um, but if you are in buying from a private seller, well, that's the way to tell. You look at it, you weigh it, and uh, it's very difficult to find these things this thin with a tungsten slab in the middle of it. It's not, it doesn't say, I'm not saying it can't happen, but uh, that would be a very expensive fake to do because um, tungsten is much harder to machine than gold which is why I think mints like the Royal Mint and Royal Canadian Mints of gold bars have, um, have, that, have, have, the, uh, have that feature where they're much wider and thinner, thinner bars. But nonetheless, there you have it. And uh, as somebody who likes uh, thick, thick, thick bars, that's another unattractive feature to buying gold bars in this size. Now, the other question is going to be, well, what about the thicker bars? Or what about the heavier bars? I mean, like the 50 grams and the and the 100 gram bars, which are not going to be a whole lot larger than these, but they're going to be much thicker. Well, those uh, have some concern. Uh, in fact, I bought a 50 gram poured bar recently, and there's a chance, hey, that they may be fake. Uh, you just don't know. I mean, could there, they could fit a piece of tungsten in there much easier than they could these. You have to rely on the bullion dealer and you have to, and in that case, if you're buying those larger kinds of, kind of bars, then likely your budget will allow you to buy a precious metals verifier and you should. It would be almost grossly irresponsible to not have something like that. Uh, but buying from a legitimate dealer whose reputations are on the line is gonna pretty much cover it. Uh, 
very rarely it's not and it's not to say that it doesn't happen where you find a fake uh gold bar there but uh, i took advantage of this paid about 15 bucks above spot for it uh, accounting for the move and spot price uh, but I, I took that risk for a savings of you know a couple hundred dollars um so i'm thankful to have to add this to the stack we have verified that it is indeed genuine and if I needed to liquidate this, I could very easily do so uh, in a multiple different ways and fashions and feel confident that I would be uh, able to uh, uh, get, uh, you know, an appreciable price for it. And there you have it, a brand new a Rand Refinery one ounce gold bar added to the stack uh, for this year. And I hope you found this video insightful. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Would like to extend a multitude of gratitude to all of you for taking the time to watch this video and to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.